If you ever wondered how they managed to move uh, on the ground, would they got spice on their tummy? A friend of mine has brought me uh, a little gift. It was a sample of gr uh, green uh, grass, moss, you know, that grows on the trees. Um, hang on, let's go in the room. It, this one is a little bit noisy, or the pumping. And, and he's hoping that I could find a space bear or a water bear. You know, it's this little creature that survives unbelievable conditions such as the vacuum of space or cryogenic liquids. And he wants me to find one and show it on the microscope. So I'm going to show you footage of how we've prepared the sample. But whilst doing that, hang on, I just put you there. Um, I found a little, here we go, a little caterpillar. It was dead, so I thought, hey, let's look at it. So I've took the caterpillar and put it on the sample and evaporated gold on it, just like the, the fly, because it needs to be conductive. Uh, but we did the same thing with the sample where we hoped to see the space bear. Unfortunately, there was no space bear. Actually, I, th I think I've evaporated way too much gold to see uh, very small creatures. So we have to do the space bear another time. But in the meanwhile, Let's look at a caterpillar. Pumping seems to be done, so let's uh, put the electron gun on and we can start the procedure, uh, meaning bring the sun put up in, uh, near the gun and find what we want to see. So let's do a little time lapse on this. So here we are. This was a very painstaking thing to do. Uh, I've cut a big piece of meat trying to find the image and calibrating everything. Uh, oh, now we're talking. Damn. Uh, let's fix the. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, okay. Um, no. All right, so I'm a bit hesitant on what to say right now, so let's do a voiceover. This is a Cosus Cosus caterpillar, also known as a goat moth. It lives in Europe and feeds on tree trunks, hence why we found it in moss. If you look at the other video I did on the fly, I was complaining that the fly had a lot of hairs. <laughs> Guess what? Hairs. Let's continue. 
Okay, so first thing we're going to do is rotate uh, the image on by pressing. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh, 180 degrees. So now basically top is top. All right, so what should we look at first? This one's got the... Um, the bottom of his body that's completely rough. I mean, look at that. Okay, I'll zoom in again. Just after saying that. Let's get close. This, so this is the equivalent of the, oh wow. Oh gosh, I mean, Look at that! This is the uh, bottom, it's not the back, it's the belly, belly of a, of a caterpillar. Um, I don't know, but if you ever wondered how they managed to move uh, on the ground, well, they've got spikes on their tummy. I mean, look at that. Okay, image is saved. Let's... Let's try to see a little bit of in um, the head. It. Oh, hang on. What's that? Well, you know I said caterpillars didn't have legs. Well, of course I was wrong. Well, these are not legs as such, so I was half right. They are known as abdominal prolegs. And what you can see coming out of them are hooks known as crochets, used to hold on whatever surface the caterpillar walks on. And yes indeed, I did have to look this up afterwards, and let me tell you why. Did I say that I was not a biologist but a physicist? In other words, I don't know what these are? You know what, let's let the voiceover do the explaining, I'll just do the first viewing. In that case, this is a wide view of the creature. It has a head, then different segments. The first three being the thoracic legs, used for gripping and climbing. Then you can see the abdominal prolegs, the one we've seen earlier on. And at the bottom are the anal prolegs. So let's take a look at the head and see if we can spot anything. This is the head. What can we see? Well, I have to say, these bumps do look like eyes, but I'll need to check afterwards if they are. And this look really looks like, uh, especially this one there, really looks like a thread of, uh, of silk. Indeed, I was right. <laughs> so, the bumps are simple eyes, which don't seem to be of great help since most of the sensing is done by the antennas and the rest of the hairs. Furthermore, the silk is secreted by an organ near the mouth, which explains why silk could be seen on the forehead. Still? Hello. So what are you? And there's something else here. All right, let's start the picture. Um, let's get just a little bit better framing. So, what is that? Well, let me show you a picture and tell me if you can figure out what this is. Any idea? No? What about with a closer image? Okay, how about you pause the video and post a comment if you think you know what the answer. I'll wait. Okay, I'll give you the answer. This is a spiracle, in other words, the nose. Basically, it's a hole in the exoskeleton allowing air in the caterpillar, hence why you can see some sort of filtering system on the image. And the caterpillar has many on its body. Regarding the quote, something else, well, I have no clue what it is. So if you think you know, please share in the comments. I'd love to understand what I see on these images. Okay, well that's it for now. I hope you enjoy watching a caterpillar and a scanning electron microscope. As for next time, I don't really know what to look at. So if you have any ideas, please post them in the comments and I can try and get a little inspired. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you soon.
Hey, I'm back again in the lab. So I got one question on the last video was why is the room so yellow? Well, it's not me messing up the uh, white balance on the camera or on the making or, ma or making the video. It's actually the room that's completely yellow. Why? Because it's used. Uh, well, some people use uh, photosensitive materials here, so the lights on the ceiling are actually yellow. For instance, if I go out now in the rest of the lab, which uh, has not this yellow light, you can actually see, apart from the noise, that everything is uh, well, the correct colour. Okay? So yeah, these rooms got yellow lights and yellow windows everywhere. We do not have any blue in here, so I can't even do the white balance in post-production. Anyway, so let's get the next sample started.